What's up, everybody? What's up? Happy Pod Day! La, 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 la. Ow! Woo! What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the C Plan Do Show with me, professional life coach, business coach, mindset coach, serial entrepreneur, all the wonderful things I like to do in 24 hours, Mr. Gary O'Neill Jr. And as always, when you see me out in these streets, because we're back outside, when you see me out here, please, please don't forget the junior shout out to Pops. And we have yet another power packed podcast season four episode five entitled pod booking with the amazingly talented the mogul daniela garcia the founder of pod booking is in the building today oh i'm so excited about this episode and so we're going to be talking about business we're going to be talking about podcast we're going to be talking about pod booking and all those wonderful things today are you guys ready of course you are that's why you signed up that's why you're looking at me so without further ado let's get with our shout outs so shout out to my day one A1 listeners. Hey guys, how are you? Shout out to my first time listeners. Hello, hello, hello. Shout out to my YouTube watchers that are watching all of this. They're drinking it all in in 1080p or 4K. You might got 4K, all right? If you got 4K, I'm probably right in your living room right now. Shout out to International Love. Again, people in the States, outside of the States, people that are looking for an amazing podcast. Guess what? Look around. No need to look around any further because you found it. So shout out. And also my Patreon supporters who support this show and all of all everything that I want to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You could have been anywhere in the world. You could have been listening to anything in the world. But you're here with me and I appreciate that. All right. So uh, again, season four, episode five. We're, all, we're a quarter down of the season. Wow. Look at that. It's already already at the fifth episode. And so. Let's get right to our C Plan Do moment of the week, sponsored by Heart Savers Maryland. And so, right after this commercial break, we're going to get with that starting now. All right, your C Plan Do moment of the week is entitled Support is a Verb. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of going down to a pre-Juneteenth event, and it was absolutely amazing. And it highlighted different uh, down here in Baltimore, Mount Vernon Marketplace, a lot of great local uh, restaurants. They were offering samplers. You were able to connect with them and talk with them. And one of the vendors, uh, they had tea, and she had an amazing shirt. And on that shirt, it said, support is a verb. Now, we talked about love languages here on this ep- on this show and and for me love languages when we're talking about love languages we are highlighting uh you know the different love languages that, and go back to the episode but mine is acts of service. I believe in acts of service. And so with the acts of service it is a verb. It's what you do. So if you have people and you know that people are really awesome, they're really great when you're asking them, hey, why aren't you famous yet? Why aren't you really out here? It's because you haven't shared my stuff. Are you doing your part to support? What does that support look like to the person? Here's what I want you to do. Reach out to somebody that's doing something, whether they're starting a business, whether they have, whether they're starting something or they're in the middle of something, they have an, they had an entrepreneurial spirit or they're doing something and just simply ask them, how can I support you? I'm telling you now as an entrepreneur, we don't hear that a lot. We don't hear it a lot, and it's extremely vital. All right? Don't wait until, you know, some somebody else makes it and they're hot. Then you're like, you want to come back? It's too late. If you know somebody is amazing now, then support them now. Don't wait until they're, they've made it. They're in magazines. They're, in, they're on YouTube or they're in these different shows and stuff. And then you want to say, oh, I've been supporting them from the beginning. Support them now. Think about Jeff Bezos. And when he first started Amazon, hopefully he had enough support. So I want you to realize that support is a verb. To an entrepreneur, it's great to have the like button. And I appreciate every person that takes the time to like something. But that like, we need more support. Share, share this podcast episode, share the podcast, say something about it. If you know somebody that's doing something, say something. A like isn't going to make it. 
That's just saying, hey, that's cool. It's not going to make it. It's not going to push my show. It's not going to push what they're doing. And it's not going to push what you're doing. And also, last thing, don't wait until you have something then turn around. And now you're looking for support from people because they've already established it. And I don't want to take it that way. But I've had a lot of people come to me when they've started something. And now it's like, hey, I've started this. Can you support me? Like I haven't had a podcast for four, four seasons. Like I haven't been doing this or doing that. So think proactively now. Support people now while they're hot now, while they're getting hot. All right. And that is your C Plan Do moment of the week, sponsored by Heart Savers Maryland, entitled Support is a Verb. And why is it a verb, Gary? Because a verb is an actual word, it's something that you do. Got it? All right. Moving on, let's get to our green light entertainment moment of the week. Again, you see the vibes when I have my songs. All right. They're hot out here. Now, you know, one day we'll get to a place where, you know, um, where we'll get to a place where YouTube and other streaming platforms that let you play the songs. But guess what? For right now, we're going to make sure that we have all the information down below so you can follow along and you can listen to it. I like to have, you know, popular artists, but some songs you may not really know. So let me know. And also like, share and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're listening to this, you can share it. And uh, if you have a song or artist or, or some music that, hey, that you really like, comment below. If I use it for the show, I'm going to shout you out. Look at that. You are part of the show now. All right. You're part of the show. So here's your Greenlight Entertainment mo- song of the week sponsored by Greenlight Entertainment. So right after this brief commercial break, we're going to get right into it. All right. So that was your Greenlight Entertainment song of the week. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know how you feel about it. And so. Now we're going to get into our entree. So if you're looking for the appetizer, hey, guess what? As always, as a podcaster, we like to change and move and direct things. So when I have an amazing guest, I want to focus my attention on them. I don't want to just keep talking. I want to get them in the building. So we're going to when when we have an amazing guest, I'm not doing the appetizer. But guess what? If you like an appetizer, let me know what appetizer you want in the comment section. And I'll make sure I take care of that. All right. So without further ado. Our entree. And of course, our entree is sponsored by Silk Hair by Sasha. And Silk Hair by Sasha, if you don't know, is a black owned hair company that provides high quality Brazilian and Indian hair. They also carry bonnets, amazing hair accessories, edge brushes, and they are constantly adding, constantly adding products daily. If you are looking for a custom wig service, you just found it because they offer custom wig service and as well as well as a place for you to buy those bundles. So make sure you get those bundles from them so they can make your custom wig. All right. So you guess what? You can check. Subscribe to their newsletter to get information and deals. You can always find them on Instagram and Facebook. www.silkhairbysasha.com. One more again. Silk hair by sasha.com so let's get into our entree oh our entree of the evening season four episode five entitled paw booking and so let me bring on oh an an amazing that's why i love doing podcasts because you get to come across amazing people that i may not even have even met if i would not had this vehicle so let's bring off the wonderfully talented the amazing daniela garcia hey hey I'm just like blushing. (laughs) That's what it's all true. And I so appreciate you and what you put out here from a creator to another creator. I appreciate you creating and that benefits all of us. So thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I know. Likewise. If you want to cry, go ahead. You could cry. And then I'll just take that clip and I'll be like, look (laughs) what we do on the show. (laughs) But it's so (laughs) good to have you on the show. And so can I read some information about you for for the very small group of people who don't know you? <laughs> sure. Let me, let me read some information about that. Uh, if, if you must, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> Daniela Garcia is the founder of Podbooking, which, guys, Podbooking is the hottest or coldest, depending on your region, hottest or coldest app for podcasting professionals. All right? Pod, Podbooking it what it does is that it aims to take podcasting, professional podcasting, professional podcasting, and it connects us with not only potential guests, but sponsors, editors, all types of resources for the professional podcaster like me, like you, if you're ready to jump out here. 
And I'm so appreciative that someone said, hey, you know what? I need to create something for podcasters. And this is it, guys. All right. This is it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. It's so good to have you. It's so good to see you. Likewise. Thank you. All right. So can we get... So I think you 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 know how the show goes. So can we get <laughs> to one of my favorite segments here on the C Plan Do Show entitled Fuego? Yes. Rapido! <laughs> where we where we give, and again, as a podcaster, let me pull you guys back behind the curtain. I already give the guests on the show the questions. We're not throwing them off guard. It's not a interrogation. We give them amazing questions so they can kill it on these on these podcasts. But these questions, ma'am, these questions, sir, they don't know about these questions because they're hot, muy caliente. I think I said, yeah, I, did, I, I totally said it right. I just killed that just now. All right. Are you ready? ready. Question number one. I'm going to put it right up to the screen. Ooh, I like this one. All right. Wait, right here. All right. Currently, what is your favorite gadget? Ooh, ooh, mm, here we go. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm like attached to my cell phone. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's a gadget. Okay. But, yeah. but, 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 um, ooh, no. My air fryer. Listen. Guess what, I just found out. Guess what I just found out? What? That you can boil an egg. Let's put, put yeah. you can boil an egg in yeah. an air fryer. Yeah. I saw it on Instagram. I saw it and I said, no way this is real. Yeah. I took three eggs, invested three eggs, Daniela. And I said, I, I, I. You put all your eggs in that air fryer, Gary? I put three in there. I was like, here we go. And once they came out, they were amazing. I literally, I was just here by myself, me and my dog Caesar. And I looked at the stove and I said, your days are numbered. <laughs> you are out of here. I can, we can, we can get you out of here now. You're done. You're done, kid. You're done. To totally unnecessary. <laughs> Why are you here right now? <laughs> so, yeah, I love the air fryer too. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, Oh, I like this one. Since you have the hottest app for professional podcasters, just hottest app, period. Oh, taking it back oh to the streets. What was your first screen name? Oh, wow. What would Tom say to us? What was your first screen name? Danny Tennis 1995. I've yeah. never played tennis in my life, but oh. I liked a boy who played tennis, and I wanted him to think that we had that in common. Wow. So I made it my AIM messenger Screen name. Wow. Wow. No, all the shame. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, don't, I, I <laughs> Yeah. Mine was Gary. Tell the DJ bring it back, O'Neill, because I was before I became part. But who wants to type that? I what? I don't know. What oh back. my god! It was a great song by Eight Ball and MJG, and it said, "Tell the DJ bring it back," and I just had this long ass name. That is awful. Like, what? That's ridiculous. <laughs> All, right. All right. That was great. I'm, I'm going to go off script. I'm not even going to use these cards. Okay. Give us three things right now that you can flex. Just Let's just flex one time. Flex one time. Give us three things that right now, I know you're a very humble person, but guess what? Right now, I need you to flex. Give us three things right now. Go. Um, okay, flex number one. I own and manage the only social networking app for podcasters in the world. No oh, big deal. It's big flex, right? Oh, we're big flexing right now. Okay, great. <laughs> um, I own a boat Whoa. and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty sick boat. It's it's Whoa. a it's a great boat. And, yeah. Um and third, I've been to 13 countries. Wow. Do you hear the flexing? Flex, 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 flex. Mm. my confidence muscle. Mm, I, love, <laughs> I love hearing about amazing things because guess what? We're so caught up in like, oh, we got to be humble. No, if you have a damn boat. A matter of fact, I need you in the next 48 hours to post a picture of you on the boat. If that's okay. Right, we yeah. need to see the boat. We need to see you. I got you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check my personal page. There's a picture of me on it. Oh, and I've got my phone and I'm like, new boat, who dis? <laughs> right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Last one in Fuego Rapido with season four, episode five, pod booking with the CEO founder, Daniela Garcia, the founder of pod booking, the hottest app. Listen. <laughs> You are a professional podcaster and you're not on pod booking right now. You are slipping. Are you a professional if you're not on there? <laughs> oh, I guess that remains to be seen. All right, last one. Currently, uh, let me bring it up to the screen. Currently, what are you currently curious about? Okay. Mm. What are you curious about? Cryptocurrencies, actually. Mm. I, um, I've got a bit invested in different things. Like I'm in Ethereum, I'm in Litecoin, I'm in Bitcoin, but I'm very curious about starting a cryptocurrency. You want to start one? I definitely am flirting with the idea of a pod coin. So Garcia bucks. No, pod coin. For wow. pod booking. Did you so got like pod booking. That? Wow, that's I, I had to take a moment to think about that. Like, wait, that's <laughs> wow, look at that. I I'm very seriously thinking about it. <laughs> we have $35 in Bitcoin right now. I invested that money and I saw it go up like a dollar, and I was like, I started looking for new houses. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I'm in GameStop and I feel the exact same way. <laughs> I'm like really certain that I'm about to become like the next big thing. <laughs> I look around, like I go into Chipotle or something like that. And I'm like, oh, how much is this? Uh, 200, 300,000. And then I look at my big points, it's been up like 30 cents. So I'm like, all right, tuh. I'll see you guys in like a year. Tuh. But I'm a get that walk when I do. <laughs> oh, listen, I, don't even ask me. Don't even, when I say I want guac, don't tell me how much it is. I'm getting it. I that's made that decision already. Right. I <laughs> knew I was getting it. That's like when the pack of cigarettes has the surgeon warning label on it, and you're just like, I know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> no one no one has turned away. No one has getting ready to buy a pack of smokes and then like, oh wow, the surgeon general is warning me against this. This just, just totally put, changes my life. Changed the game and just put it back. I just spent those nine dollars not knowing that this could cause anything. <laughs> <laughs> who on. knew? Who knew smoking <laughs> cigarettes would cause health problems? No, and in Europe, it's ridiculous. The labels have like black lungs on them and stuff. Like, doesn't it's matter us. Crazy. Doesn't they matter. don't. They you chain care? smoke it on the street. I've seen it. Matter. <laughs> you could have someone dead on it, and just say, "This could be you." And it's like, fire it up. Don't make promises you can't keep, Newport. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to the doctor. And uh, she asked me, hey, do you smoke? And I said, well, I smoke cigars occasionally. She said, well, you know that one cigar is 10 cigarettes. And I thought to myself, I'm going to get a new doctor after this. Like, she, <laughs> clearly, I know what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. So that That's funny. Thank you. You, for, need, you need to find a doctor that's like in line with your lifestyle. Just be cool. Man. <laughs> Just be cool. You know what I'm doing. You got the report in your hand. You see the cholesterol level, which is really, really good. But come on. Don't bust my balls here, Doc. All right. Okay. I'm 41. I have made certain decisions that are not being changed. I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing Fuego. Rapido. Kick, 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 kick. All right. So let's get to these questions. Right. Okay. Because I want people to know, like, I'm I, let me say this. I am a member of Pod Booking, and I need you. If you're a professional pod podcaster. You're out here. You have a website, all those things. You need to be on there literally now while you're listening to this. Get get signed up to this amazing app that caters to us. All right. So let's just jump right into it. So first question is pod booking, the only professional pod booking app out here. What was your, you know, tell us the tell us, walk us, take us back behind the scene. What was the how did we create how did you get to the point where you were creating pod booking? It's like my favorite story. So it was July 29th at 11.30 p.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, oh, it was 11.56 p.m. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I was getting ready for bed and I had just finished doing a podcast because I had just written a book, which if anybody wants to read it, it's called A Kind of a Big Deal. And you can go to akindofabigdeal.com 
and buy that book. Uh, and it's an wow. ebook. Uh, and so I was promoting that book and I was going on shows and stuff. And I had just finished an episode um, and I was going to bed and I was telling my husband, oh, you know, the show went really well. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm the kind of person that's like outgoing and will get myself on shows and stuff. But it's such a bummer that there isn't like a place to go to do that. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, yeah, there should definitely be a place to do that. Like, oh, going to sleep. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. And then I was like, why isn't there a place to do that? Wow. And I was like, I could do that. I could make that happen. I have the technology. So by by 8 a.m. the next morning, I, ha I had the domain, the email, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, <laughs> uh, the Pinterest, the Reddit. I had our first post was live. I had the domain. I had we were going to be on a different kind of platform before. And I had that platform all built out. Like I had everything done by 8 a.m. I love it. I stayed up the whole night. That is exactly what the C Plan Do show is about. You saw it in your dreams or you thought about it. You planned it out. And then in less than 24 hours, it was up. It was up. Yeah. That yeah. is great. And so again, and you just re you just recently hit a milestone, right? Tell us about that milestone. Yeah, we're at a thousand members. Let's go. Yes. Do, know, do you guys know how serious that is? All right, do you, like one thousand members is absolutely amazing. A thousand people have downloaded and joined my app. Like that's really cool, guys. Just think about this: the internet. One thousand people said, "Hey, we like this," and they signed up for it. This just happened. That is absolutely amazing. I am so happy for you. When I saw that, because guess what, guys? I'm on there. And it connects you with a lot of people that, you know, if I could take this time to say this, you're looking for a professional platform. Social media is great. But if, if you're looking for people, if you're a podcaster, you're like, hey, I need to connect with people. That's the place because it's social, but it focuses on your pod. You can yeah. ask questions, resources, all those wonderful things. So thank you for that. And I will say also, everyone's very well behaved about that. Like you don't see anybody posting pictures about their cats or their weekends or anything like that. In fact, Saturdays and Sundays are kind of quiet. People are like, no, 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 no. I'm editing or I'm recording or I'm yeah. taking a break. It's like very much a Monday to Friday network, which I think is really cool actually. Cause it's like, yeah, yeah this is work. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I know we highlighted it a lot. So what else? Uh, so, we, and I've been talking about it. We both have been talking about this, but just outside of connecting podcasters in a professional platform, what else does a uh, pod booking offer the podcaster? Yeah. So we also offer, um, geez, we offer so much. Okay. So we've got a ton of content and just uh, live videos that we do and live events and virtual summits that we do. Uh, we are launching uh co-branded spaces with other podcasting services as well like we just launched our co-branded space with pod decks actually hey i like hey guess what i love pod decks i know i know i saw you use it for the quick around um and travis uh the owner and i are actually really good friends and he's like a super great like just person in the podcasting industry who's super supportive travis. and like travis. shout out to travis shout out <laughs> yeah he's amazing um and every podcaster should be using pod decks uh huh. They're they're a great tool. They are absolutely. Shout yeah. out to them. So so we have a, conne a connecting place, a resource where we can get all these wonderful things, all these resources, asking those questions that you're not going to get from a regular social media place. No, we're um, not posting our cats or our dogs. Nope. You're also going to be getting a lot of like podcasting thought leaders are on the space and sharing content. Yes. Uh, there's also media buyers and brands that are trying to connect with podcasters on there. So it's a great space to find sponsors. Uh, I mean, just it's a great space to be a professional podcaster and to get everything that you need out of a professional podcaster. We've, also, we've got spaces to share your wins. We've got spaces to share your just like venting spaces. It's called the vent. Mm -hmm. You can just go and, and complain, <laughs> which is really necessary. <laughs> huh. You need it because you can't you can't go on your social media pages and do it because yeah. then it's like, nah, I don't want to listen to a show. I don't listen to a show. If they're out there complaining exactly right? forget around those like-minded individuals and i love that it creates that space for us all right so let's talk about podcasting as a, as the state of podcasting because since i've gotten to know you 
that we the podcasting numbers are growing. We see what Apple is doing. We see what SoundCloud is doing. We see all these different places that are now trying to monetize the idea of podcasting. They're trying to do these things. So where do you think we are as far as podcasting, the state of podcasting? Uh, I think that we are in the wild west of podcasts. Like we're the wild west in terms of media and entertainment. Um, and they're trying to break it. You know, like you're trying to break in a horse. Yeah. All these all these major corporations are trying to break it, um, break it in. Mm-hmm. And I'm very curious to see how receptive the audience of podcasting is to that because I do feel like it is a very defiant audience. I feel like it's the kind of audience that's not looking for for major media influence. It's not looking for the influence of of Fox and Disney and uh, the news type. Like you know, all these. I feel like podcasters come specifically because it's an alternative source of entertainment and an independent source of ent- entertainment. Absolutely. That's so. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like you're going to get a lot of the no more like commercial. You know, mm-hmm. I call them the commercial listeners, mm-hmm. which are the li- listeners that are tuned in to commercial and typical entertainment. But yeah. I think you're still going to have that really solid base of consumer that's like, yeah, I know. I like podcasting because it's not those things. Right. Yeah. It's not been driven by, but you know, by those ads or by those things like, hey, I really want to have real content, not just some politically correct or like, hey, I really want yeah. it. Why a lot of people like Joe Rogan you know, different places or they listen to this episode because we're not the, the, you know, the radio stations that are playing just constant stuff and not really. You're not it. pre-approved content. That's no. what, that's what I view anything on television or on the well, radio. Yeah, that's that. pre-approved content. Yes. yes. We don't do pre-approved here. <laughs> no, no, no. Out here. Okay. All right. So we talked about the surging and, and again, season four, episode five, Paul booking with the CEO founder of pot booking the hottest app out here for the podcasting professional like you, like me, Daniela Garcia. So we saw the surges. We talked about, hey, we saw it's the white, you call it the wild west now. Yeah. So you have people that are listening to this show. They're, yeah, they're going to be, obviously they're going to be connecting with you, following you. People are going to ask you a ton of questions. I'm pretty sure you get one of the biggest question is, or one of the things that they ask you is, what would you say to the new podcaster that's out here. What what advice would you offer that new podcaster? Or even existing podcasters as well? Uh, don't be too attached to the result of your work. Like, mm-hmm. don't be attached to your download numbers. Don't be attached to your followers. Focus on the quality of your content. Focus on giving back. Like, nobody wants to hear a podcast about just you. You know oh. what I mean? Like. Yeah. Give value, figure out who you're speaking to, and then find out what do they need to hear. Yep. And and feed that and focus on that. And go, uh, get your own email list and start creating your email list now. Guys, all right. So let me pull you guys behind the curtain because, you know, we're transparent on this show. So Danielle and I had this episode already done, <laughs> right? I got COVID, as I, I told you guys. And when I went back, because this was going to be this episode was going to be very early on in the season, like episode two, because it was such a the same vibe you're getting the same vibe we're doing now. It was already there. And uh, the site deleted it. It was my fault because I didn't download it to my computer. And that was the that was a tip that has always been a thing. She says, get a mailing list. And I said, dang, I need to get my mailing list. So I could do it. it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And you see the numbers, guys, because guess and we'll talk. Listen, get on Paul Book and we'll talk about that. But get a mailing list. You want people that already invested and you can send them an email, say, hey, the new episode is out. And they're like, oh, cool. They're already invested in you because they signed up for that. So, yes. And, and if you can remember this one thing that you said, I don't let me see if you say it. But all right. So get a mailing list. Don't worry about your numbers. Anything else you want to offer the millions of people watching this right now? Oh my God, now I'm super concerned that I don't remember. Success, <laughs> you said you talked about success. Oh my God, yes. Your success as a podcaster is inevitable. It really just requires you to be to, con- to be consistent. You are in the fastest growing medium in media that it has, has been. It is super fast growing. Uh, there's billions of dollars in it, hundreds of billions of dollars in it. You can definitely get that piece of that pie. Like you just have to be consistent, but your success is inevitable. 
she said that when we first recorded this and it stuck in my mind the entire time success is inevitable as long as you're consistent guys i'm telling you now like if you are a professional podcaster this episode was for you all the episodes are for everybody but if you are a professional podcaster this one is for you don't just jump out here and be like hey i'm out here and yada 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 and then you're not offering anything we need we need you to offer us content so Oh man. So tell it. Okay. How can people connect with you? And, so, and again, thank you so much for being on the show again. <laughs> yeah, of uh, course. It's how, always a blast. How can people connect with you? How can they sign up? Give us all the deets and, and what's happening with you. Okay. So follow pod booking on Instagram. You can also follow me on Instagram, Danny, D A N N Y dot Sam dot Diego. That's me as an individual. Um, but the very best way to connect with me is on Podbooking, of course. Yeah. So download it on your app store, uh, Apple or Google. We're there. Download it. And I am Daniela Garcia. Um, and I'll probably be the first one to like, I'll probably follow you, honestly. Hey. <laughs> but, but you can find me on there and get collaborating, podcaster. Listen, get collaborating. And again, I love I love that she said that. I actually said it to somebody else that was starting to I said your success. And I had to quote you. I think I owe you a dollar. Oh my god. Your your success as a podcaster is inevitable. Success is. is inevitable as long as you're consistent. Because yeah. the same people that are not, they're like, oh yeah, I'm taking off. Hey, I did an episode one day, and hey, yeah, it's on it drops on Wednesday, but I had stuff to do, so I'm gonna drop it on Friday. I'm like, they're not even gonna be around. No, and that's called pod fade, and it's a very serious condition plaguing the podcasting community, and mm. <laughs> and it's what Travis and I are working on. He's got his ten by ten challenge, so ten podcasts, yeah, yeah. ten minutes, ten days. Let's go, ten podcasts, ten minutes, ten days. Again, shout out to Travis. Make sure you follow and connect Ooh. with them. They have really good content. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right. So guess what, guys? We are done this episode. Look at that. Done another episode here on the C-Plan Do Show. Please, again, make sure you connect with Daniela. Make sure you soak up all the information. Make sure that you become a member of the pod booking community. And speaking of community, yeah. make sure you're part of the C-Plan Do community. You can catch each and every episode hot and fresh right at midnight. At right at midnight on Tuesdays, and you can always catch up previous episodes by going to www.cplandushow.com. Cplandushow.com. Catch all the episodes on there on all your favorite streaming platforms. Of course, if you want to support this show, uh, one of the best ways you can do it is be a Patreon supporter. I offer different perks like merch and stuff like that. So check out the website for that stuff. And as always, guys, as always, thank you for being the best part of the show. You are the best part of the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on these shows, telling me your ideas of a different show. You are the best part. So until we see each other again, guys, because we will, obviously we'll see each other again. I see you all the time. You see me, I see you. Until we talk again, because of course we'll be talking. It's too many. I got a new phone. I'm not going to tell a company. I'm not going to say what the phone is because they don't pay me to say that. So maybe I'll get on pop booking and see if they're a sponsor on there. Then I'll do that. But until we talk again, no matter what kind of phone you have, until we see each other again, and until we share those special, special moments again, because look at this special moment. We had it again. Me and Daniela had this special moment again. Always remember, guys, to see what you want to do. Hey, plan that thing out. And above all else, just do it. All right, make sure you connect with Daniela. Pod booking. Do it now before the end of this episode. Bye. <laughs>